Hello, in this video, I'm going to tell you all about tropic hormones. I'll define it for you first, and then I'll take you through the many tropic hormones of the body. Uh, so first off, what is it? Uh, it's a hormone that acts on other endocrine glands. So we have many hormones in the body that are produced in one place, so by one endocrine gland or by one organ, and their target is another endocrine gland, and that is a tropic hormone. Um, most of them are secreted by the hypothalamus or the anterior pituitary gland, but there are actually some that are secreted elsewhere in the body. So I'll touch on a few of those also. Uh, so starting with the hypothalamic tropic hormones. So these hormones are all secreted by the hypothalamus in the brain, and they all act on the pituitary gland. So all of these hormones are tropic hormones, meaning that they act on another endocrine gland. In this case, they're acting on the anterior pituitary gland to cause the pituitary to either secrete or inhibit any of its hormones that it secretes. So corticotropin releasing hormone tells the anterior pituitary to release the hormone adrenal corticotropic hormone. So yet another tropic hormone that I'll talk about on the next slide. Uh, gonadotropin releasing hormone is a hormone that the hypothalamus releases to tell the anterior pituitary to release follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone, two more tropic hormones. Uh, growth hormone inhibiting hormone is exactly what it sounds like. It inhibits the release of growth hormone and growth hormone releasing hormone stimulates the release of growth hormone. So both of those act on the anterior pituitary gland to tell it to release or not release growth hormone. And um, then same with prolactin inhibiting hormone and prolactin releasing hormone, two hormones that act on the pituitary gland to tell it to either inhibit or release the hormone prolactin. Then finally, thyrotropin releasing hormone stimulates release of thyroid stimulating hormone, another tropic hormone from the anterior pituitary gland. So the anterior pituitary has only four tropic hormones, all of which I just mentioned because they are triggered to be released by the hypothalamus. So we have the thyroid stimulating hormone that stimulates release of thyroid hormone from the thyroid. Adrenal corticotropic hormone stimulates release of glucocorticoids, so primarily cortisol, from the adrenal cortex. And then luteinizing hormone and follicle-stimulating hormone are both reproductive hormones. Um, LH stimulates release of steroid hormones, so meaning estrogen, testosterone, from the ovaries and testes. And FSH stimulates maturation of eggs and production of sperm in the gonads. All right, so those are the majority of our tropic hormones are the hypothalamus and anterior pituitary, but there are a few others produced in other places in the body. So these are the ones I could think of when preparing for this video, but you might be able to think of a few more if you all really put your minds to it. So if you think of any others, please tell me in the comments that I left one out. Let us all know. Um, so starting with the small intestine, it secretes three hormones that would be considered tropic hormones. Uh, so first is cholecystokinin. Uh, it's a hormone secreted by the small intestine. It acts on the hypothalamus to produce a feeling of satiety, so fullness or satisfaction. And it also acts on the exocrine portion of the pancreas. So because both the hypothalamus and the pancreas are considered endocrine glands, in addition to the hypothalamus, of course, being part of the brain and the pancreas also being an exocrine gland, uh, but because they both are considered endocrine, um, then cholecystokinin is considered a tropic hormone. Uh, similarly, secretin also acts on the exocrine portion of the pancreas and glucose-dependent insulinotropic peptide. I know it's quite a mouthful, uh, but that's a hormone secreted by the small intestine in response to glucose to tell the pancreas to secrete insulin so that it can help manage that glucose and rising blood glucose. And then lastly, the ovaries and testes secrete a hormone called inhibin, which acts on the anterior pituitary gland to inhibit the secretion of follicle-stimulating hormone. Uh, so again, you might be able to think of other tropic hormones that are produced throughout the body. And if you think of any, please put them in the comments so that we can all learn from you. All right. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.